Bonjour tout le monde. Aujourd'hui c'est mercredi le 6 octobre. As it is mercredi, I hope to see some of you. I know that not all of you are available, but, but available, but whoever can in a little over an hour for our live meet. Le mot de passe aujourd'hui est moi aussi. Moi aussi. If you're not at our live meet, you'll need to uh, record that as part of your um, your Flipgrid assignment. Um, la question du jour, also part of the Flipgrid assignment. So if we open up this Jamboard, some people have already put in their answers. So if I'm Samantha, I might say, j'ai beaucoup dormi ce weekend. If I am Mia, I would say, j'ai trop dormi ce weekend. Pour Annalisa, j'ai assez dormi ce weekend. Nobody put anything in this last group, but, oh, and now my face is covering it up. There we go. J'ai dormi un peu ce weekend. So something you might notice is that when you answer the question, you say j'ai first, and then for trop, assez, beaucoup, you're going to put that word in next. J'ai trop dormi. I slept too much. J'ai beaucoup dormi. I slept a lot. J'ai assez dormi. I slept enough. A For this last one, um, t I, you could put it j'ai un peu dormi. That works perfectly fine. Um, to me, it just sounds more natural if you put it after dormi. J'ai dormi un peu ce weekend. So that one can go either here, j'ai un peu dormi ce weekend, or it can go here, j'ai dormi un peu ce weekend. Okay, so that is again part of your Flipgrid. Oops, wrong thing. Okay. Um, aujourd'hui dans l'histoire. Aujourd'hui c'est mercredi le 6 octobre et le Moulin Rouge a ouvert en 1889. Le Moulin Rouge is a place you might have heard of before. It's kind of famous slash infamous. Um, it is a cabaret. Le Moulin Rouge est un cabaret, same word en français, we use the, the French word in English, à Paris. Um, there was a movie years ago in the 90s called Moulin Rouge, so I think people who <laughs> were in my generation oftentimes knew of the Moulin Rouge because of that movie. I have talked to some of my middle schoolers who have seen Moulin Rouge, um, but if you haven't before, maybe you've never heard of this place. So Le Moulin Rouge, un cabaret, meaning it's a place where you can go to um, watch little shows um, and you sit at a table and you can have drinks and you can have like little uh, hors d'oeuvres and stuff like that. Um, normalement, le soir, il y a des spectacles avec des danseuses et de la musique. Okay, so we have normalement, danseuses, spectacle, musique. We can probably figure out what those words mean, right? Normally, Oh, wait, we have Ilya too. There are the spectacle. You probably think of spectacles, if anything, as like little tiny glasses. But <laughs> uh, des spectacles en français, those are um, shows. Shows, it's just, that's the word for shows. So when you say un spectacle en français, that can be like a play or a skit of some sort. It can be a music performance, etc., a show of some sort. Avec des danseuses, so with dancers, et de la musique, music. Le cancan est une danse populaire au Moulin Rouge. Moulin Rouge. Uh, le cancan, da, 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 You probably know that, that um, melody, but here is an example of it if you'd like to see. Et parfois, parfois, sometimes, il y a des actes de cirque. Exact de cirque, so like um, 
uh, people like hanging from those silks and doing acrobatic type stuff or um, other things like think of Cirque du Soleil. That's the kind of circus act they're talking about there. Okay, um, so today is the day, le 6 octobre en 1889, that Le Moulin Rouge a ouvert. It opened that day. Okay, during our synchronous meet today, we are going to have another person spécial. I will be asking that person all of these questions. Tu t'appelles comment? Tu as quel âge? Tu es en quelle année? Où est-ce que tu habites? Comment es-tu? Qu'est-ce que tu aimes faire? Est-ce que tu as un talent caché? Est-ce que tu as un animal de compagnie? And then this is the new one for this week. À quelle heure est-ce que tu te couches normalement? And then that person will answer, je me couche à, insert number here, er. So this is where knowing those numbers from the song this week comes in handy. Je me couche à dix er. I go to bed at 10 o'clock. Je me couche à onze er. I go to bed at 11 o'clock. And then similarly, à quelle heure est-ce que tu te réveilles? Je me réveille à 7 heures. Maybe you're not quite that lucky. Je me réveille à 6 heures. Maybe you're really a morning person. Je me réveille à 5 heures, etc. So uh, when you go to listen to our interview with our personne spéciale this week, um, and, you know, take the quiz and write down your write and discuss. These are the questions that you'll hear. Um, so, yes, uh, speaking of that, you're going to need to go to our, um, you can, okay, a couple ways you can do this. You can go to our stories link here. This is also linked at the very top of our Schoology page. And I will have, we have a person spécial numéro 5 here. So, person spécial numéro 6, the write and discuss will be right underneath then that's what you're going to copy into the back of your notebook, skipping lines, um, and we'll be translating that next week for a grade. Um, so that you're going to need to take care of, not necessarily today, but starting today it will be available. Um, the other thing will be, of course, your quiz. I will put an extra slide on here that directs you to get to that quiz. Um, that should be available tomorrow morning. And, um, it would be great if you could also watch the interview that uh, as it happens um, during our synchronous meet on that uh, recording today. Okay, I think that is it. Au revoir to the monde. Hope to see some of you in about an hour.